I'm Dr. Juan Munoz. Uh, I'm a Christian. Um, I'm also a chiropractor, I'm a restaurant owner, a brother, son, dog owner. So I was born here in Sioux City. I was born at St. Luke's. Uh, I was raised outside of Sioux City in Correctionville. I graduated from River Valley. Uh, went off to Simpson College, got my uh, graduate degree in biology and a minor in Spanish. And then went to Palmer College of Chiropractic. I was there for three and a half years uh, studying chiropractic. And at the end of that, um, my, my last semester, I was able to go to New York and do an internship there. Um, there I learned a lot of good techniques and a lot of good systems to plug into my office. So some of my hobbies, uh, especially when I had more free time, I'm really into sports, so I love going to baseball games, football games. Go Hawks, go Cubs. A couple other passions of mine are music. I love listening to music, going to concerts. I'm diving into different music than, um, than people really listen to. I like getting, I like getting off the mainstream and, and finding bands that nobody's heard about or knows about. Some other ho hobbies of mine are I like to cook. I mean, we opened up a restaurant because we all love to cook in our family. Um, I don't get to do much cooking, um, but I do love to cook. I spend a lot of time with my family. Our family is very close. Uh, we do a lot of dinners together. Uh, we, we cook together. We, 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 we really live together. My brother um, has his own place, but he really lives with me most of the time. And we're, we're all very close siblings. So we spend a lot of time doing things together, either going to the movies or eating. Um, we all have our own friends, but we're all still very close. And it's nice to have um, that support system that I don't think um, a lot of people have. And I definitely don't take for granted. I know it's something that God has given me that's allowed me to do the things that I'm able to do because I have such a great support system at home. So I think family is one of the most important things you can have in your life. With Inside Out, my sister came on right away and she was part of that, that family there. And having my mom and my dad involved with, you know, with Brightside and my brother Eric, who's my partner in it, um, having us all together and having that support system is, is so important. It's definitely not easy all the time. Um, there's a lot of, uh, of heated conversations that we have with family. And, um, we never leave angry though. We, we always make sure that we um, love on each other no matter what and that we get through conversations and get through topics um, in a loving manner. So uh, we've done that very well and the, the family is so important to me that I tried to create that head inside out as well. Not only with our team, like our, our, our chiropractic assistants and me, but our practice members and everyone that walks in there. We have really strong relationships that we get invited to birthdays all the time and, and family events all the time at, with our practice members. Not that we can always attend those, but it's amazing that we do get invited in, and getting gifts and, and different things like that and giving them gifts and, and supporting them and, and the things that they do um, is really important to us. I think we need to create a family for their health and that we can all support each other in our health, whatever it's with chiropractic in their health or our nutrition or exercise, we support anything that they're doing and we wanna just be a part of their lives. It's not just your typical wham bam, go in, they crack you wherever you say it hurts and then you're done. You build a relationship and Dr. Juan builds a relationship with you he really takes the time out to get to know you and your body and what actually is going on with you and in your life and not just what hurts but you know what's going on in your life and what could be causing some you know your stressors or anything like that or any problems you have going on or you know he asks about your family and everything too and I expect my chiropractor to be thorough in listening to what my problems are uh, maybe why I presented and then Thereafter, if anything happens, that he isn't in control of my health care. So with Inside Out, uh, the name came by because we wanted to be very simple. And so I went to a business module class when I was at Palmer College of Chiropractic. And in that business module, the doctor there said, uh, the only thing that you have to do is to convince that person the very first day they come in that their body heals from the inside out. And if you can do that, that'll completely change their entire life. And I completely agree. I think that our healthcare system that we have, we don't think about the inside out. We usually turn to, I'm sick, I need this. Or um, I have a fever, so I need this. Instead of, oh, I have a fever, my body's responding to this. Um, a lot of research shows that it's beneficial to get spinal uh, alignments to help your body heal. I think with, with most people that they believe chiropractors are good with pain, neck pain, back pain, headaches. In reality though, there's things that help people with those things much quicker. 
Um, if you're looking for a quick fix, chiropractic definitely isn't the best answer for that. When I first came to Inside Out, I had a lot of migraines, probably one to four a month. And uh, that, was, that was the main thing. They put me down in bed and yeah, not good. Uh, this spring, I actually hurt my back and uh, used Dr. Juan for chiropractic care to get it back into shape so that I can actually walk right again and start to work again. Um, but I think if you're looking for a long-term solution, chiropractic is absolutely the answer for that. I think getting people's bodies healthier is gonna keep them out of pain, get them to be healthier individuals, and they just keep themselves out of trouble. They keep their health going in the right direction. I really wanted to see if it would help with um, Kadrian's autism and since he was going to be starting school and you know because he was premature and also is autistic he is four and a half he'll actually be five in September he's still nonverbal but he has made tremendous strides since coming here and starting here and seeing Dr. Juan and myself also I was in a lot of pain and Dr. Juan helps with a lot of that. I was having some major shoulder pain, major pain with my wrist, just on top of day-to-day -day pain in the fibromyalgia. And he's pretty much worked with all of that and the care plan um, that they do and the extent that they go to with the x-rays and the technology that they use, like with the back scanners. I just think it's great. I just think it's amazing and it's so much more than you would get anywhere else. I liked how he started out where you you came a lot in order to get your body uh, where it needs to be and used to that and then he tapered you off you know as you started to get better. The reason that we, we preach on chiropractic and neurologically based chiropractic in our office is not because you know nutrition is second or exercise is second or medicine is second. Um, is that chiropractic is a catalyst for all these other things in your life. What chiropractic can do is help your body to function better. And you as a better functioning person are gonna be healthier. And then so when you do do new, proper nutrition or proper exercise, uh, your body accepts those things much better. And you can exponentially have effects on your health. So that's why we focus on chiropractic, getting your body to function to its best potential, and then adding these other things and seeing your life really take off. So with Sioux City, I think everybody can agree that we're usually behind the times. We're kind of on the back end of the curve, which I love. Honestly, I, I think it's, I, I prefer it that way because then you can see the changes that are happening in the rest of our country and seeing those things, knowing that those things are going to be coming to Sioux City at some point. Um, I think with Sioux City having such a diverse culture and such a diverse um, population, um, there's struggles there with you know communication issues that we have in the office or um, cultural norms. I mean, those are things that we have to work through all the time, but we do a pretty good job of being bilingual with English and Spanish and then having programs or systems in place so that people who don't quite speak English very well or have a barrier gap that we can you know that we can serve those people in our, in our office we try and make it a home to everyone that walks in there so um, nobody feels unwelcome everyone walks in being welcomed and I think that's really important to have here in Sioux City this doctor's office is um, very personable they all of the people here are so friendly just a great place I love all of the uh, technology that they use how they analyze the body I like visuals so it just gives me another way to look at it. Um, uh, I like this office better because Dr. Juan is so much more gentle. Like you can get adjusted and it doesn't hurt when he's doing it. And uh, if it doesn't hurt when he's doing it and you feel better after, that's like the best of both worlds. I was like really impressed with how thorough they are and uh, just the overall program. I like that it's so personable and he's so personable and that he really strives to actually help you in long-term sense, not just short-term. So since starting Inside Out, uh, our first year, we were actually named one of the fastest growing clinics in the country, which was amazing, a great opportunity. So we also had a, an associate there for a while, Dr. Brandon, uh, was an amazing person, amazing to have on the team here at Inside Out. Um, he was unfortunately un unable to stay with us. And so currently we're, we're looking for another chiropractor, uh, looking to expand our team. And uh, since that point, we've been, I've been asked to be on multiple different boards. I'm currently on the CEF, the Children Evangelistic Fellowship, when they do the Good News Spectacular every spring, which is amazing. 
Uh, we've been uh, a part of multiple different community events. I catered for one of his events and um, yeah, it was great. Just an appreciation party for his clients and that was wonderful what he was doing. He, actually, he's got a, he does a lot of wonderful things. I just want to thank everybody for coming out. We had a lot of support from the community today. Uh, all the proceeds from this are going to Her Health Women's Shelter. His marketing, his personality, everything. I like his music. I like Christian music. Our, our name is really known for being in the community now. I'm very proud of the, um, the grassroots that we have, the um, homegrown marketing that we do. Um, we, we, we try and always be a part of the community and people are really starting to respond to that. They really see us at different events and I love getting, you know, people come to an event and they say, oh, I see you at everything, you guys are everywhere and that's exactly what we want to do. We want to be involved in this community and be, a, and be a major part of it. I think he's a great member of the community here. He does a lot of outreach stuff, he, there's always something going on up front, you know, donations for some cause and I think that's awesome that he tries to help people in the community. His outreach, I mean, we see his name everywhere and I think he's doing good things for the community, just making it a, a more welcoming city, I think. He's just, um, he's giving back to the community and I think it's a wonderful thing. He's just uh, constantly thinking of really cool ideas and it's like, wow, that's really neat. Very giving man, so. Yeah, glad to know him. By being a strong member of the community and giving back, uh, he is changing what Siouxland is and, and how it can be better. So, One of our goals for Inside Out was to have multiple doctors in the office um, and one continuing doctor to be on mission work, um, whether that be to um, a Latin American country or African or, or even Asian country, um, having a chiropractor in the, in the field um, adjusting people with, you know, with, with chiropractic and helping bring health, um, but also, you know, bringing them the Word of God. Um, I think it's really important that, uh, that we ha take opportunities to, to do those things and um, not only mission work, you know, outside of the country, but also inside the country. I think filling needs here is very, very important and we try and do that with Inside Out at all times, even now, um, doing different drives, but um, in the future, we really want to spread out and, and go to countries that don't have access to healthcare, that don't have access to, to different needs that we can fill. So a couple of other acclimates this year, we were named uh, Sioux City Chiropractor of the Year. Um, we've been open for three years and that was the first time that award had been given um, and we were the ones to receive it. So it was really amazing to see the response and the community support that we've had because it was a, a community voted award. Um, and then earlier this year in March, we decided to open up a restaurant. Um, and so we opened up Brightside Cafe in Delhi downtown. So Brightside started uh, with my brother and I just seeing our news feeds on Facebook, seeing just news on TV and seeing all the negativity in the world and, and different pressures that people had to go into. And here we're given this opportunity to open up a restaurant downtown with all these business owners and, and business type people that have a lot of stress, they have a lot of stress in their lives. So we thought that the best thing that we could do is fill that need in the community that has a light, a light of positivity. And so that's what Brightside does. It just brings positivity to everyone that walks in our doors. Um, we try to make it a home. We try and make everyone feel very welcomed, um, no matter what walk of life they're coming through. And we try to have good music, good positive music. And we hope that when they come in, that they leave more joyous or inspired or in some positive light that, they, that they're given just by being here and reading the quotes on the walls. Yeah, this is my favorite quote right here. And having the quotes on the walls is such a powerful thing. Not only does it create the environment just by having that positivity on the walls, um, but by reading those things, you can see into other people's lives and other authors and other poets and other um, civil rights leaders that the things that they have done in their lives and you can see their quotes and their words and hopefully they inspire you. Thank you, Dr. Juan. I really appreciate everything you've done for me, for Pat and actually my grandkids too. Um, helping my daughter, he's just been a wonderful man. Thank you, Dr. Juan. You're great. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you Dr. Dr. Juan. Juan.